Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to go over our spelling words for the day. Make sure that you are on page 18. Make sure that you're following along well using your hands and your fingers to break words into syllables and sounds. Make sure you're saying them with me. And then make sure that you are writing them correctly with all of the rules and markings. Let's go ahead and begin with our first word. And our first word is just. So someone who is just is someone who does the right thing. Right? So or makes the right decision or something that is done is done correctly. Right? So we could say he is a just man, meaning he does that which is right. Or you, we could say uh, if a decision has to be made, it's a just decision. It's the decision that is right. Okay, Just. Base word just. 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 Okay, right. Just. 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 Markings, just, just. Now, the next word is justice. So when something that is just happens, we say that is justice. So for example, we think of our justice system. So if someone commits a crime and they go before the judge and the judge says you are guilty and you have to, you know, this, this is how you're going to make restitution for your, for your wrongs. Either you're going to pay a fine or go to jail or something. We say that is just. Okay, and that is justice that is happening. Justice happens when the just decision make is, is made, right? So justice, base word just, ending is. I write just, add is to make the word justice. Just, tis, ju-us, is, e, right? And here I'm going to use a c to make that s sound, right? Justice. Just. I'm sorry, just, tis. Markings, ja, uh, t, i, s, once, e, twice, job, three. What this e is allowing the c to do is it's allowing the c to say s. Right, so justice. Let's brace those two. Now, I said just is when we think about doing things right because that's connected to the word justice. All right, we can also use the word just, like I want just one, um, one waffle this morning, right? So just can be used that way as well. All right, the next word is gentle. Right? So to be gentle means you're compassionate, you're kind, you're not rough or harsh, right? So when we hold a baby, we are gentle, right? We hold it very carefully so that we don't cause any harm to it. Uh, we can have also have a, a gentle uh, disposition, to where we're not we're not we're not cruel or harsh. We're we're gentle and kind and compassionate, right? In those sorts of ways, right? So gentle, base word gentle, gen, tol, ja, e, n, t, o, e, gentle. Here I'm going to use a g to make that j sound. It's followed by an e, right? Right, gentle, gen, tol. Markings, j. Ja. That's going to be rule three. Et n t o e twice job four. So here G may say j when followed by an e i or y in this case an e. And here every syllable needs a vowel, so we put a silent final e on the end. Rule four. Now uh, the next word is gentleman, and so a gentleman is a man who is gentle. So we think of uh, in in old days, right, men might have been really rough and and, and, and coarse and just um, ornery in their behavior, right? Um, they weren't what we would think of as being a gentle sort of person. So men who were elevated in society were people who were not like these sort of vulgar, rude, um, rough kind of men, but they were they were classy, right? So a gentleman is someone who has class. Uh, he's not he's not barbaric in his behavior, right? So that is a gentleman. Right? So gentleman, base word, gentle, base word, man. I write gentle, add man to make the word gentleman. Gen, tol, man. J, e, n, t, o, e, n, a, n. Gentleman. Okay? Gen, tol, man. Markings. J, rule three. At n t o e. Now, even though it's not at the end of the word anymore, we're still going to treat it as a final e because it was in the base word. N a n, gentleman. 
erase those two. All right. Now, the next word is await. Like, I await um, to, I await the letter to arrive, right? So it means when you await something, you are waiting for something to happen. Await, base word, await. A, wait. A, wa, a, t, await. And here this A is A not used, right? Right, await. A, wait. A once, rule four, wa a once, t, await. Here, so A is um, rule four, and they say A at the end of the syllable. The next word is purpose, or no, sorry, the next word is suppose, right? So suppose, suppose means like, I would use it in a sentence like, I suppose that that would be a good idea. It means to, to think something about something that is is possible, hypothetical, or something that will happen in the future. Suppose, base word, suppose. Sup, pose. S, a, p, p, o, z, e. Suppose, here I'm using S to make that z sound. Suppose, sup, pose. Markings, s, a, p, rule 29. O once, z once, two, e once, suppose. The next word is wonderful, right? So wonder, to have a sense of wonder means that something is amazing or beautiful. It speaks to the heart, right? And then we are going to use the ending, full. So the word full, but we're going to use it as an ending to mean it has, it's full of this. Right? So something that is wonderful is something that's full of wonder, something that really has a lot of that which inspires that sense of amazement or beauty um, in whatever it is that we're, we're thinking about. All right? So wonderful, base word, wonder, ending, full. So I'm using full as an ending here, not a base word, but an ending. I write wonder, add full to make the word wonderful. Wonderful. Da er f uh, oh, wonderful. And when I use full as an ending, I'm only going to write it with one L. Right, right, wonderful. One der full. Markings wa a n da er once f uh, three ul rule twenty two. Right? In rule 22 is when I use full as an ending, I only use one L. All right, the next word is the word forward. Okay, so I'm going to walk forward. Forward. Now here, um, the, the base word is going to be for. So for means that which is in front of me. Okay, so forward. Base word for, ending ward. I write for, add ward to make the word forward. For ward or what are the forward? Okay, so forward for ward markings or once what are once the forward. All right, so the next word is backward. Okay, so four means to go front, back means to go the opposite direction, right? So the next word is backward, backward, base word, back, ending, ward. I write back, add ward to make the word backward. B a k w r d backward. And here I'm going to use my CK to make that k sound, right? Backward, back, ward. Markings, b a k once, rule 25, w r once, duh, backward. Here, rule 25, I can only use a CK after a single vowel that says its first sound. Now, the next one is a little bit more difficult. It is toward. Now, depending on, on where you're from and how people speak, they may actually say this incorrectly. 
right? They may say toward, and they may pronounce the W, toward. But technically, um, in good, well-spoken English, you will not use the W sound. It's just toward. I went toward. So to something, right? And then we're going to add ward to it. So toward, base word to, base word, or sorry, ending ward. I write to, add ward to make the word toward. T, u, and then we don't pronounce the W when we say it, but wa, r, da, toward. Toward, to, ward. Right, so here the the two becomes a toe sound. So it's t o once. Rule four. Wa, we don't say it, so we're gonna double underline it. R once da. Okay, so toward. And we will brace those three. Toward. That's a tough one. I grew up and I said toward. I pronounced that W, but we're technically not supposed to. All right, well, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.